Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. Um, you're watching uh, my Wales campaign. I really got to work on my opening. Um, and I, uh, I didn't see it when I stopped. Uh, I'm sure that uh, if you were watching, you saw that um, Hungary has incorporated uh, the lands of Poland into its territory. And we'll see. Yes, now uh, the king is. Uh, also is the king of Hungary and of Poland. Something surprising to me as well was that there is a Basilissa on the uh, Byzantine throne and Anatolia and other portions of the empire have actually risen up against her to uh, put a must be a, a man on the throne and the Ilkhanate continues to move in uh, to these territories. We got a message that Baghdad had been um, uh, sacked by them. And it looks like the Sultanate of Egypt is uh, defending against a war to install someone on their throne. So lots of activity going on over here. It looks like Genoa has kind of stalled on their uh, takeover of Mali. I don't have a problem with that um, because if you come and look at the Republic Trade Zones, they are just dominating the Mediterranean here and then up the coast uh, and the, of you know, all of Iberia. And I was hoping that Munster uh, would expand a little bit more quickly, but it seems like that is not going to happen. Although it does look like they, get, they are uh, putting up a fight um, for uh, these uh, northern uh, coasts here and hopefully Genoa will kind of slow down and not take care take uh, advantage of that area allowing Munster to continue to expand through here uh, we're currently still in the war to keep uh, our uh, cousin on the throne of Castile and we have some rebel troops in Meath, or Dublin, I should say. It is the du the Republic of Meath. It usually would be a duchy. So I, I think that they have enough money to take care of this uh, if they wanted to. Uh, I'm going to raise my, uh, my levies and take care of it because I get a, a bonus to clearing out rebels. So that will be very beneficial, considering none of... I don't have enough support in the Irish uh, territories uh, for uh, my candidate for king, for my successor. And that is just going to open up a bloody war uh, that I'm willing to fight, mind you. No red news will be disconnected. All right. One child lacks a guardian, so let's send them to, let's give them to Bedwear again, and I'm going to check on the, who, you know, the, the electors in Ireland to see exactly who Leinster, Connacht, Meath, and Munster are voting against me. And I believe I've given out gifts. Oh, well, this guy wants a lot. Um, I've given... We don't have any more titles to give to him. Let's see what Connacht says. If we send him a gift... Well, look at that. I mean, he's already got a great opinion of me. He should be voting. So I will give him some money. Make that 100. And I will... Court Dwarf. Opinion plus 10. Wow. He can be my core dwarf. <laughs> I've never, in all the hours I've played this game, had that. I hope <laughs> that's not a bad thing. Wow. That is incredible. Okay. Maybe he'll appreciate that? I don't know. So, let's see. Linster, so Connacht, Linster, and Meath. Hopefully Meath will appreciate us helping 
and uh, let's get into it. Okay, that should be enough. Put some folks in f charge of this army. I should put Freog in charge. Yeah, he's gonna be... Oh, is he... A am I even able to put him in charge? Let's see, who is the... Yes. My half-brother. And what's he doing? He's Marshal. Okay, so he's already in Gwent to train troops. We can hope that he gets wounded or something in that uh, activity. We'll take care of these rebels. That was easy. And if I go back to Meath, he should like me more because I defeated the rebels. There's the plus 25 right there. And basically it cost me very little. My niece needs educating. I'll go for a uh, Midas Touched or Fortune Builder for her. We'll go take a look at what's going on in the south. So I really probably should be besieging the county of Soria. Oh, vassal levies, of course, Marrakesh. 5,000 levies, too. That is not bad. I wish that the French weren't here and the Genoese weren't here, because I would love to create the kingdom of uh, Mauritania, because it is a powerhouse. I've seen uh, the, is it the, the Hamadid usually uh, take it. Uh, my mission to Masat has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Duke Arthfail II of Marrakesh, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are. He sends his regards. Your humble Chancellor, Eldman. Perfect. Alright, Chancellor. I need you to... Woo. Whoa, minus 45. Look at that. Who are they voting for? At least, her vote's not really counting for anything, so... You know, I'm going to cancel this law. Abandon the changes law, allowing you to try instituting another. I'm going to cancel this. Um, because the bishops actually like me, um, with it, with it, with free investiture. So... I'm going to send... my chancellor to... Munster. And try to improve diplomatic relations with them. And this uh, castle should fall. Valladolid. Okay, I had to break up a fight between my grandson Iago and another child today. Iago's heart is filled with envy. My grandson, he's not my heir. I'm gonna just talk to him about kindness. He got the, gun tra the kind trait. Good. I'm not going to really worry about this territory there. Uh, the siege lengthens, unfortunately. Did my nephew Alessander asked me for a fief of his own to govern. I told him he's not ready. Don't really have any land to give out right now. And a child lacks a guardian, my kinsman. I'm going to give him learning since he's already got four points in that. Send him over to Philippa. The French are on the move. Which is a bit surprising. Well, not really, since he raised crown authority, I would expect something to happen. French Castilian War over Ajin. Oh, well. Well, that's a shame. You know, he wasn't willing to fight me, but uh, he is willing to fight Castile over Ajin. And we're seeing our French holdings uh, just dwindle because of my decisions. I mean, it was nothing else except for not seeing that these territories would be uh, separated uh, when I put, well, 
my wife, you know, my mother, in charge of this territory. While we're here, and we have 10,000 men, and uh, the levies here are very small, we're going to declare war for Leon. He is a Jimena, but he has no kings that can help him, and the kings here are weak anyway. I don't even think that they could raise 10,000 troops. So let's declare war on him and claim Salamanca. We're not going to ask for any help. Uh, this is a war uh, that I was helping Russia with, but they really don't need my help. I'm going to assault this. Hope I don't lose too many troops. Ah, that was not bad. Uh, the Russian Holy War for Bulgar has ended. Just going to keep assaulting. And just take this territory. Flan Uruark has uh, been elected the Grand Mayor of the Great Republic of Munster. How do you like me? Okay, he's already surrendered. Very good. Now I have some land that I can give out. I just don't know to who to give it to you. To whom I should give it. I'll give it to Guirgant. Oh, he's possessed. Whoa! Oh, he's just married, that's right. And he's in a matrilineal marriage, and his children will not be. That was my mistake. Let's not talk about that. Queen Madrina of France, my daughter. Let's see if I have anyone in my court who I don't mind giving land to. Cadwathan of Ireland. Princess Yekaterina of Sweden. My brother. Mm, he'll start a faction against me. But, let's see. Claim on the Kingdom of Denmark. I'm almost wanting to place him on the throne of Denmark. I don't want to give any land to his kids, so let's look at Ewan of Ireland. My nephew, Alessander. Oh! Alessander. Gain a title. Alright, I'll give it to you. Salamanca. I'm going to... Can I... Create... Let's see what's going on in Zamora. We will... Hold off. I want to create the Duchy, or usurp the Duchy of uh, Leon. Cannot usurp this title before... 1236. Okay. Good. I want to allow him to uh, get these penalties. Um... You know, reduce these penalties so that when I put him in charge, he can defend himself because the Zamora will definitely uh, be at his throat. And so will Leon. Princess Siri for Leon, huh? My half sister. You want to come to my court? Ah, uh, no. Not surprising. Oh, England. Look at this. Uh-oh. So, let's see. York is married. Her heir is... Tangwistle. My niece, who is unmarried. Hmm. No, I don't think I'm gonna marry... him to her. the Duchy of Lancaster to Philippa de Normandy. Oh, I should try to kill her. Oh, plot power is zero. Not good. Would like to, for her to die so that I can press this. 
Duchy of Lancaster. It'd be nice to just pop in there and take it. Or at least install her. Hmm. Let's see, what were my claimants? I wish I could go backwards. Dismiss for now. Disable. No, don't do anything. Okay. So I can press this claim. I can press my claim on Denmark. I really didn't want the land before. It looks like Schoon is attacking. For, uh... Is that, like, Joachim? I wouldn't say Joachim. Um, a claim on Denmark. I'm very tempted. Very, very tempted. What is going on with Roos? Are they still in their war? Defending against Prince Kirill of Sweden? League Independence War? Look, I don't even see where Sweden is. Is this, like, it? Hmm. And defending against Minskian. I have my own title. Ha you know what? Why the hell not? We'll declare war. It might end in inconclusively. But the land is already kind of uh, weakened. We'll declare war, we'll add this to our kingdom. And we can always grant uh, the title to someone else, or become, or grant it, well I guess that would be the same as granting it independence. Yeah. I believe that the head is over here now. It's just, look at those borders, it's going to be horrible. But I can claim Denmark for myself. And then I can pass that claim on, even if I don't win. And I can call in some allies. The King of Scotland. I'm sure the King of Roos will pr probably say no. And the Duke of Kent, uh, I'm not really worried about. So we should have a sizable army to take on the King of Denmark. Good. Okay. Let's have everyone meet up here. It's going to hold 27,000. Right now, it's going to be 25,000. Okay. Excuse me. We'll bring these troops up north. How many fleets do we have in total? Massive undertaking here. Are they all... where did I tell them to go? Okay, yeah. We'll have them all go there. And all of the fleets here. Go there. This should give us some prestige, make people like us more. My well, mission in Rome has been so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Pope Eugene the Third, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent pilot ruler you are. Very good. What is our relationship right now? It should increase. Very good. Okay, Scotland says no, even though they really don't have anything going on over here. Well, he must have enough prestige that he doesn't care. And Ruth says no. 
So we're going to go it on our own. Even though this would be a slam dunk for them. Whatever. I can do it by myself. Uh, let's put them back on. There. Okay, that's not enough troops down. I'm mean, not enough fleets down there. Let's put them together. Put them together. We'll throw Edney Wayne and Boson and Caradog. Actually, Lionel? No, we won't throw Lionel. We'll throw Enrique. Let's throw everyone who is. who hates me into this war. And maybe, just maybe, there will be some casualties. Oh. Bring these troops in first, and then we'll pick these up down here because I don't have enough. Or I could just pick them up right now. Okay. Start with Gerald and Kadwathan. Nope, still not enough. Okay, well, we'll be back. I really can't believe that Scotland didn't help. 27,000 is our supply limit, which is very high. Yeah, this should not be difficult at all. Jihad from Mesopotamia. The great Shia Caliph Khalil I has decided to call a jihad against the Kafirs in the Kingdom of Mesopotamia. He urges all righteous Shia Muslims to take up arms against the depraved Kagan Hork <laughs> wow. Horkudah of Ilkhanate for the glory of Islam. Allah is merciful. Well, good. That takes uh, their attentions away from the rest of the world. Oh. Looks like if we win this land's going to be taken up a uh, split up a little bit because they are attacking and so we're not we're not uh, besieging this this city so that's all right that is okay it's not imperative are we at war with schoon A large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to gather them, grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Very well. Let him in. Maybe we'll get a better eunuch this time. Tell us about the mythical, mythical realm of Hindustan. Okay, the Chancellor of Lancaster, Mayor Reginald of Macclesfield, has bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to get enough people to recognize a claim on my title that he has fabricated for his liege. Duke Herbert of Lancaster. Dawn breaks, and the caravan prefers to move on. Uh, this eunuch will serve you well. That's very kind. I accept your gift. Let's see what we get this time. Last time we got a guy who was not very good at all. And it is the same this time. Maybe we'll find a use for him. I don't know. The young Duke... 
See if I do. Yes. What is the? This even worse over here. And the Cathar territories. Hmm. I have a feeling that if we win this, we're gonna get a lot less land than Denmark. But that will also give us Casas Belli, and we have ten thousand. And our retinue, so we will have lots of wars to fight. Which will give us lots of prestige. We'll land our troops at Schoon, and then we'll see if we're able to... Uh, yeah, we're not able to um, besiege them. How is Ferkfriog is now of legal age. She's become a fortune builder. My niece. See if there are any marriages I would like to. Uh, get a uh, Geralt. Looks like he might be worth marrying, but I'm sure that we can find someone. In this territory that will, in England, this territory. Suffice that would do. I wonder if he would accept. No, he would not. Why not? Too high in line of succession. Okay, what about his brothers? Arrange betrothal to Christopher to Hollis. No, to High and Live Succession. Okay. Northumberland is pretty close to having a claim on that territory. What about Gregory de Normandy? Desires a better alliance. Hmm. There's also the claimants button. We already have some claimants, but yes, he probably oh he's ill. 61 year old. Ah, uh, we already have like a, a claim. We should already have a claim um, in the works for that territory. What is York being attacked by? Duchy of Lancaster. Okay. Is that for the independence? No, a Paul's claim in England. What about Hereford? Reginald has already got a spouse. I don't feel like killing another spouse right now. Alright, Randolph. Let's see if I re arrange a marriage and a matrilineal marriage. No, but he will come to my court if I ask him to. Alright. And now I will get the marriage I wanted. Okay. Back to the war. What would be great is if, um,. they decide to end their conflict but that's probably not going to happen to end this uh, war of uh, basically rebellion so 
move them across, place these units, capture these territories, and then move on. Discovered a plot uh, where Duke Enrique II of Portugal seeks to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Galicia. Will you end your plot? Yes. Good. Okay. We might as well just move these two for these troops. Let's see. My nephew, Arthfell, wants to duel someone. Allow the duel. The kitchen is truly a wonderful place, filled with delicious things and smells, but it worries me that Iago spends all of his time there. And he should be practicing sword fighting and learning how to rule. Force Iago to learn how to fight? This is not my concern. We'll force him to learn how to fight. He has gained the brave trait. Very good. Well, thank me later. Alright, now we have that territory. This is owned by Denmark as well. land here. And then we'll move our troops. What is our vassal levies? It's minus five. It's fine. These are softened up a little bit. move into the heart of his territory. We're going to lose a lot of troops, but should be pretty fairly simple. Uh, we have dangerous factions, independence faction. Hmm. You might have to buy some mercenaries. Let's keep moving. Now, the these territories have uh, lower supply limits because they don't have s uh, other holdings in them, um, which we would remedy. Definitely uh, want to uh, spend money to create, make cities and bishoprics or castles. See, my liege, my mission to Rome has been so far a success. All right, Pope really likes us now. Likes us now. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, I wonder if I should make any of my territories bishoprics, or what is it called? Uh, you can have the an archbishopric. You can have a just like you can have a mayor as the head of a uh, county. You can also have a bishopric as the head of county as a county, and uh, it acts the same way. They'll like you based on you know. Or you'll get their levies and their money based on their opinion of you versus the Pope. So, you know, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with uh, my chaplain right now. But I will worry about that in a bit. I'll just let this uh, uh, continue. We'll just continue our conquest here. Peasants have revolted, but they revolted. The army of Bishus, Bishus, Bishop Antonio of Timbuktu. So they will automatically be taken care of. I wonder what his army is doing. Defending against uh, the Sigil Massa League Independence War. Right there. And it looks like they're going to. Uh, Genoa is going to win. But they're so rich, it's not a surprise. This Hungary, man. I don't think I've ever seen it get. Uh, as large a, as it has. And the Byzantine Empire is just taking over this territory here. Ilkhanate has just blown up. This is an interesting game, I think. Never seen it like this before. Let's capture this territory. 
almost instantly. <clears throat> it looks like Roos is uh, fighting right now. My daughter was born to Lionel, finally! The Duchy of Northumberland and the Duchy of Gloucester will be passed on. Well, I've already got Gerald in Manville. I wonder if it would be worth it to kill his dad. No, it wouldn't. Okay, because I, I'm looking for... someone of my blood. So, at least Ting Whistle will be uh, available. Hopefully, he'll get her... He'll have another child of my line. Okay. Let's move on. We'd really like to uh, destroy this army of Schoon. Yes! Uh, the Duke of Marrakesh, did he die in battle? Murdered on the orders of Effa Madoc. Hmm. Alright. Take this. Uh, my nephew Bedware asked for a fief of his own to govern. Told him he's not ready. Alright, let's head out of this territory. Our vassal should be very pleased with us right now because of this war. Yeah, minus 10. Not great. But I did see that we did get another supporter. So, oh, good. Our kingdom will not be torn apart as of yet. But they could be fickle and change their mind. And, uh... So Connacht likes me. That was what I needed. He's very thankful that I made him my court dwarf. What is going on over here? We can attack them. Okay, when uh, my guests arrive, my grandson Iago is the first to greet them shower, and shower them with questions. Child clearly has potential. I only have one ward. I was wondering. Oh, he's not old enough. Uh, no, no, none of these are old enough. I want to take on a ward. So I can change them over to Welsh. What about him? No. So I can change them to Welsh uh, as their culture. And then uh, that will get that. They, they won't think of me as a foreigner when they come to power. I tend to let female thieves and bandits get away with lighter sentences. Here's my arbitrary trait at work again. Philippa de Normandy is going to react. She seems upset. But really, who cares? She's not really anyone of import. Hmm. The Count of Glamorgan has, uh, wants to lower authority. My spymaster died. Not great. A new great house has risen. I want you to continue to uncover plots from my court. All right, we're at a hundred percent. Very good. Enforce demand. So now, we have this war, the Slevigian uh, War for uh, Joachim's, <laughs> Joachim? I don't know. Uh, I've got to look that up. Uh, his claim on Denmark. It's a defensive war, so our uh, vassal levy's uh, malice is going to go down instead of up, which is very good for us. And it's not, it shouldn't be very difficult. to put this rebellion down. Where is my army down here? Okay, let's go over here. Uh, 
and who is it exactly? Does she have subjects? Okay, so we want to take over this territory uh, or focus on this territory, which should be softened up mm, a little bit. How much is this costing me? Not much at all. All right, I'm happy with things. Ah, King Elaine of the First of France died. My son-in-law. So Queen Imagine of France. Will she come back to my court? Yes, she will. And I'll probably get some kids out of it. How old is she? 28? Good. My daughter. Come back home. I can marry you off again. Maybe to Hungary. Peasants have revolted in Veliki Ustug. Uh, Eustachy Blois. Oh, see, now this is going to be horrible. My granddaughter. Two children lack. And neither of them are of my... Well, one is. Okay, so I have my daughter now. What's going on in Hungary? This is a huge kingdom here. Yeah, nope. Well, who rules France now? What about the Holy Roman Emperor? Nope. What about England itself? Hmm, nope. I don't know, I don't know. Let's get this out of the way, since it's easiest. Create, make her a spy. This is my granddaughter. Actually, I will use her to secure relations with who? Oh, I don't even know. Kingdom of Agnatic Cognatic Primogeniture. Good, Denmark. Ireland. Ulster or Munster? Okay. Educate my child, Munster. Grand Mayor of Meath. My grandchild. Oh, see, that's my niece. Where's my granddaughter? Sure. All right, and then the other one. You're gonna get an education in uh, stewardship. Okay. Fifteen week claims. Duchy of Gloucester. Claimers. Kingdom of Sweden. Ooh. Princess, your courtier. Ekaterina. Prince Cadwathen. Uh, she's not going to have any children. Okay. County of Valladolid. Duchy of Berry. I'm not really interested in going to war with France. Duchy of Normandy. Duchy of Anjou. County of Soria. County of Cumberland. Barony of Grimaud. County of Tronlag. Uh, I might be interested in pressing these claims. County of Adger, Akershus, County of Hilnov. Alright, let's win this battle first, and then we'll kind of see exactly where we stand. My liege, my mission to Desmond has so far been success. He has increased the opinion of uh, the Grand Mayor of Munster, which is very good. Very good for me. 
Lords of Castile have approved the institution of absolute law. Authority, title loss, Kingdom of Ireland. Who chose, who changed their vote? Munster, Meath, Leinster. One of these. Do I have a title? I'll give you the title of Seneschal. 1,400 gold I will not give to you, though. What about Linster? I'll give you 85 gold. Hopefully that makes you like me a little bit more. And I will send my Chancellor to try to seal the deal. So, red borders tell me who is a threat, or who I'm fighting, I should say. So we need to move into Schoon. My liege, I wish to intercede on behalf of one of your prisoners, Duke Ralph of Aquitaine. I don't even know why he is in my prison. Um, sure. We'll let him free. He's pretty weak now. I really don't want to chase this army around. Oh, I gotta do something about those rebels. Okay. Let's go to Schoon. Erase the mercenaries to go take care of these rebels. Cheapest ones we can get. really diminished. Jihad for Persia, foolish infidels, so Mesopotamia and Persia. We can see that Jerusalem has taken advantage and increased its power. Independent realms. No, does your kingdoms we want to see. So Mesopotamia, they're trying to get uh, Jihad for Mesopotamia and um, was it Persia again? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Like, look. Yep. I don't think they're gonna win. But good on them for trying. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up my mercenaries. And then set them on those uh rebels. It looks like we will be taking care of some opposition along the way. All right, my wife died. Which allows us to get married again. I'm gonna search all for women who are not in prison, who are not married, and who are adults, who are my religion. Culture doesn't matter. I'm gonna go with stewardship. Wow, she's 90 years old. Incredible. Okay. I'm going to find a wife who is... Actually, pff, diplomacy is really important right now. We'll marry... Oh, how much of a hit to, to my prestige would trying to marry her be? Minus 200, that's it? I would, minus 182. Good, I mean, that's fine with me. Um, all I want is the best diplomacy score right now. She's lustful. <laughs> a genius. The best diplomacy skill that I can get. Another 
daughter was born. I have a Gautier should get married. Is that my... Yeah, but... He's not in my court, and uh, there's nothing I can do, really, to, uh... I could... Ask to arrange a marriage, not to myself. My grandson and my daughter. Oh, that would be horrible. He would say yes, though. No! No! Uh, I need a, a, a better match. Arrange marriage. Hmm. I really don't know what to do about that right now. Yes, it's everyone's concern. Oh, I'll take some prestige. Okay. Put down this rebellion. Peasants revolted in Tyrconnell. Well, looks like I'm going to be employing my mercenaries for a while. Let's get them to go all through this territory. I wonder if I'll be able to imprison all of these dukes. That's fortuitous. The lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my grand Santiago had insulted her again. But my dear, you are fat. Is that my wife? No. Okay, I don't care. Victory. Bishop Torgos of Homestad. Let's get a little bonus by letting him go. See how merciful I am? Whoa, dangerous factions. 32%. Princess Magdalene of Denmark. Fabricate a claim on the county of Schellen. In your plot, please? No, she won't. Is she Princess of Denmark? Does she have Schellen? She is in my... She's a direct vassal. Not yet. I will not try to imprison her yet. All right, this war is over. Duke Thorvald is imprisoned. Good, accept. Awesome, there it is. Are you, oh, okay, you're part of the HRE. So I couldn't resist. <laughs> We've taken over Denmark now, and our kingdom stretches into um, Rus. People have got to share kingdoms here, so that could cause some friction, uh, but that's okay. And again, I can always just let these guys be independent and just focus on Denmark if I want to. If this gets out of hand, because I think it would be get it would get pretty old to. Uh, have to run mercenaries up through here all the time. But I can stand my armies down. Ah, uh, these boats I cannot because I need them. But we're very close to being able to just. Uh, disband everyone. Oh wait, those rebels are now taken care of. Good. Okay. So I'll keep my retinue here right now. Bring these ships into port and disband them. And now our kingdom stretches from Mauritania to Rus. 
and we have a lot of land that we can um, we can improve here. And I might try to fight my way for Finland. Oh, I can't. I have a culture group of North Germanic or Finno Ugric. Yep. Oh well. Oh, my wife is pregnant. Not a terrible thing, not a terrible thing. Now I have 19 wheat claims that can be... that can be pressed. So let's go through them all. The Duchy of Finland. Ah, uh, no, I don't plan on that pressing her claim. County of... Yeah, no, I'm not going to press her claim on that. On that, Norway. I do have a claim, but I will not push her claim on um, anybody's claim on a kingdom. Maybe on duchies, since I uh, am their de jure, a uh, liege. But I'm not on the kingdom. And then Gloucester. Lancaster. There we go. Sweden. Who would I be attacking? Where? Uh, I guess. Oh, okay. So Sweden is basically. They're independent, but they're under attack. Where is their capital? Bear with me. I don't see their shield. I think that if I went to this Russian Orthodox tutored by Maria in Comey. Uh, Comey. Okay, so wow. The, he's ruling from way over there. I don't think that that should be possible. But it's what's happening. Okay. My heir is still unmarried. And he's ill. That's not good. Who's next in line? Guirgand. And we still don't have the votes. I'm almost tempted to destroy this title. Let me recreate it later. Have I ruled for... Oh, I couldn't change the law. Because, um... No vassal count. Oh, 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 excuse me. No vassal count or above has a negative opinion of me. I couldn't change it to primogeniture. I would try to change it to gavel kind, actually. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see. If we tried to breed, is it too high? Well, I'm going to uh, do some research and see. I could raise her opinion. His opinion is already at 100. His opinion is high. His opinion is okay. And his opinion is okay. But I don't know if I can bribe them. I could. Some of these. Okay. That's going to be the plan. I'm going to try to raise a uh, high crown authority and change this to primogeniture. We should get the vote. And we should get the votes that we need. Um, we can spread a little bit more money. And then we can immediately change the primogeniture and keep Ireland. Because, I again, I just don't want to fight for it again. Um, I would like to uh, kick Friog on his smug... Uh, ass, but hey. But I uh, thank you guys for uh, watching, and um, if you've gotten this far, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, I will have uh, more videos uh, coming at you very soon. Thanks, guys.